Presented by Listen Headlines. Latest financial news from trusted sources. BBC News Business. November 1, 913 America New York. Households to stay worse off than pre-COVID until 2023, says Watchdog. The UK's independent forecaster warns household finances will not return to 2019 levels for two more years. Thorex Live. November 1, 902 America New York. USDCHF falls back below the 200-day MA. 200-day MA at 0.91491 The rise on Friday reached up toward its 100-hour moving average, blue line, before rotating back down toward its 200-day moving average at the close. New that level was also the 38.2% retracement of the week's trading range along with the swing lows from October 22nd and October 25th. Thorex Live. November 1st. 8.51 America New York manufacturing in focus to kick off the U.S. week. One data surprise already today's terrible already has economists buzzing and it's a big week for economic data and, even more so, for central banks, starting with the RBA in about 12 hours. Thorex Live. November 1, 841 America New York, EURUSD modestly rebounds after Friday's tumble. Swing area between 1.1580 to 1.1586 The EURUSD tumbled on Friday falling from a high of 1.1689 to 1.1544 before rebounding modestly into the close, 145 pips. Thorex Live. November 1, 821 America New York. The NZD is the strongest and the JPY is the weakest as NAW session begins. The USD is mixed the NZD is the strongest and the JPY is the weakest as the North American session begins, and the new week and month begins. The USD is mixed after the run higher into the end of month on Friday. US stocks are higher. Yields are higher with the five-year up 1.2091%. Wall Street Journal Markets, November 1, 820 America New York, one upside to economic woes may Bikina US. Thaw. Strong exports and weak domestic demand in China, paired with scarce goods and inflation in the U.S., have put the spotlight back on the two economies' mutual dependency. Wall Street Journal Markets, November 1, 811 America New York, Barclays's new CEO faces old challenges. Zhe Staley did what he came to do, but successor C.S. Venkatakrishnan will still need to solve the long-running conundrum of generating decent returns at a European bank. The Library of Economics and Liberty. November 1st. 805 America New York. Is this error just amusing? Errare humanum est and I don't want to cast the first stone lest I be lapidated immediately. But an error I just noticed is so amusing that it is difficult to keep it for myself. New York Times Business. November 1st. 805 America New York. James Staley, the Barclays CEO will step down after a Jeffrey Epstein inquiry. British regulators investigated the ties between the bank executive and the disgraced financier. Forex Live. November 1st. 802 America New York. Forex Live European FX News Wrap. Dollar mixed as markets keep the calm. Forex News from the European Trading Session the 1st of November 2021 headlines. Markets. NZD leads. GBP lags on the day. European equities higher. S and AMP. P500 futures up 0.4%. Wall Street Journal Markets. November 1st. 8 o'clock America New York. Bond investors embrace fossil fuels during sustainability push. Yields on speculative grade energy company debt are near record lows, fueling a surge in issuance by players in the sector. Daily FX Market News. November 1st. 8 o'clock America New York. GBP, USD longs heighten downside risks. CAD flips to net long, caught report. Largest GBP net long since July, raising downside risks for Bo amid high bar to overdeliver. Armstrong Economics, November 1, 756 America New York. I want to thank everyone for all the birthday wishes. Everyone is going over the top on this one. The post I want to thank everyone for all the birthday wishes. Everyone is going over the top on this one first appeared on Armstrong Economics. New York Times Business. November 1st. 746 America New York. Jez Staley is out at Barclays over ties to Jeffrey Epstein. British regulators had examined what Jez Staley told his bank's board about ties to the disgraced financier. 
British regulators examined what Jez Staley had told Barclays about his relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. Thorex Live. November 1. 740 America New York, Yellen. Believes that inflationary pressures will ease. Remarks by U.S. Treasury Secretary, Janet Yellen. Wall Street Journal Markets. November 1. 736 America New York, Novavax, Moderna, Tesla. What to watch in the stock market today. Novavax jumps after COVID-19 vaccine maker complete submission to Canadian regulators. Global Economy. November 1. 731 America New York, making the most of the deals the EU already has. Overcoming barriers and demonstrating benefit of existing deals are key to moving forward. Thorex Live. November 1. 725 America New York. Yellen says to speak with Senate and House leaders to raise debt limit before deadline. The new deadline is the 3rd of December there's going to be a lot of hubla on this as per the usual but at the end of the day, the can is just going to be kicked down the road again. Thorex Live. November 1st. 7.15 America New York. Central banks will have to come up big this week. The market has been bullying central banks again as of late, so will policymakers fight back this time around? The key ones to look out for this week are the RBA, Fed, and BO meetings. Wall Street Journal Markets. November 1st. 7.03 America New York. An economy out of season. The pandemic has made a muddle of the economy's usual seasonal swings, making it even harder to interpret what is going on. Wall Street Journal Markets. November 1st. 7 o'clock America New York. Digital Currency Group wants to be crypto standard oil. The cryptocurrency conglomerate that owns Grayscale and Coindesk sells $700 million of shares at a $10 billion valuation in a funding round led by two SoftBank funds. Global Economy. November 1st. 7 o'clock America New York. Don't write Biden off yet. There are three reasons why those who still hold out hope for this presidency should not despair. The Library of Economics and Liberty. November 1st. 6.30 America New York. Jennifer Frey on Education, Philosophy, and the University. Philosopher Jennifer Frey of the University of South Carolina talks about the state of the university in American education. Frey urges a stronger focus on virtue and human flourishing and a reduced focus on career preparation.